I'm Chad Herman. I'm a graduate student uh, working on my master's degree at Michigan State University um, in the Department of Horticulture. Um, a part of my research is working on this uh, propane flaming unit that uh, you'll see in just a minute. And what we're trying to do is uh, maximize weed control efficacy while minimizing uh, crop injury. And we're doing that by using these uh, stainless steel shields to isolate the, uh, the propane torch, uh, the heat source, um, from the crop rows. So, I'll do a demonstration, you'll see how that works in just a minute. All right, so the back of the unit here, we have four stainless steel shields. And what we're trying to do is uh, use these shields to direct the heat between the crop rows. So we're trying to, in this case, keep the snap beans between the shields and kill all the weeds that are between the rows. Um, up here, housing this yellow box, is a uh, precision guidance system, where there's a, a camera that's hooked up to a computer and uh, the camera is tracking on the center crop row and the computer is steering this whole unit which is attached to this toolbar uh, left to right laterally in the field and here's the, uh, the cylinder, hydraulic cylinder that's used to actually move this whole unit left to right um, so this is just a way of uh, making our orientation field as precise as, as possible so um, we don't have to worry so much about uh, driver error and, and things like this we can really maximize uh, the space that we're effectively controlling weeds. Over here is our uh, propane cylinder and uh, pressure valve so we can, we can adjust the pressure uh, depending on how big or small the weeds are or how fast we want to move through the field. And the goal of this kind of unit is to be able to move through the field at uh, five miles per hour or more. Um, a speed that would be realistic that uh, farmers would actually uh, implement in the field. Um, so why don't I get it fired up and uh, you can kind of get a, an idea of what's going on here. Going through the field and put our uh, propane treatment on, and uh, pretty much immediately you can get an idea uh, whether or not your treatment worked. Because if you, uh, you go down and you uh, give the leaf a nice squeeze, pull it off, you can see that there's a, a thumbprint there. And that was not too clear, but uh, you know, if you can see that, it generally means that you've uh, you've gone over it and you've generated enough heat on that leaf surface um, to disrupt the cell membranes and uh, the cellular contents will start leaking out and uh, the weed will be pretty much killed within a day or two.